Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been quite a long time since the last time I filmed. I think it's been like over six months or something like that. And I am terribly sorry about that. Life gets crazy and you guys understand that. So anyways, I just wanted to talk to you about some of the products that I have tried out from Julep, their cosmetics line particularly, not their nail polishes. Um, if you have the Julep Maven subscription box, you will know that they usually send, along with the nail polishes, some type of cosmetic product. So I received several of their cosmetic products, including some mascara, an eyeshadow palette, um, palette some eyeliner, and then also a lip product. So today, the look that I did, I used pretty much all um, Julep products with the exception of mascara because I could not find the mascara that they had sent to me. However, everything on my eyes, um, with the exception of mascara, is from Julep and my lip color is also from Julep. I applied this around nine o'clock this morning, I will say, um, and I just kind of wanted to test it. I went and I worked for about four hours and then me and my boyfriend, we took the dogs to the dog park and so I kind of like did, you know, activities and whatnot with this makeup just to see how it stood up. I did only apply this lip color one time and while it has faded a little bit, it did stay for um, a, a really good t amount of time. So I'm just gonna show you the product that I had um, and the, uh, the, the do a quick swatch for you. So this is the Plush Pout Lip um, Crayon. I know it's um, all backwards and turned around, but it's the Plush Pout Lip Crayon in um, Cardinal Red Cream. And so when I got the product, it came with, um, like it was, there was a white dot in the center of it, which I believe is kind of like a moisturizer for your lips and then the actual color. So when you use it, they combine together. The white doesn't, I feel, I don't feel like it affects the color. Um, but here's just a quick swatch of this. This is super pigmented and it's very creamy and very moisturizing. So there's Cardinal Red Cream and that is the Julep, um, Plush Pout lip crayon. So that's what I have on my lips today. And like I said, I haven't retouched this up since nine o'clock. I feel like it looks pretty good. There is a little bit of fading and a little bit of feathering, but you know, what can you, what can you do? There's going to be things that, that are wrong with products. There's not going to be like the greatest product of life and it's going to do all the things for you all the time. Anyways, the next product that I have, and I feel like this one held up really nicely too. Um, this is the gel liner, and I just used it across the top of my, um, on my lids, and I used it on the bottom, and then I just smudged it out with a smudge brush. And I actually really liked this liner. It was a little bit more difficult to smudge out than I would have liked, but I do feel like it lasted a really long time and that it looks exactly the same as when I first applied it. So even though it was a little bit tougher to like smudge it out and everything, and I, I definitely had to spend a little bit more time working with it, I feel like this product um, has lasted all day and it looks the same as when I first applied it. So I'm just gonna do a quick swatch of that for you. And like if you look at that, that is like, that is jet black and it is creamy um, and I have to be honest, I'm really impressed with this gel eye glider and this is just in um, blackest black. So very impressed with that. The next product that I used was just a little quad shadow palette from Julep. This is called the Sweep Eyeshadow Palette in um, Neutrals and I did already swatch, out, swatch these on my arm for you so we can just go ahead and show them to you. So this one right here, this is Tiramisu, this one is Glow, this one is Dusk, this one is Toffee, and then this guy right here is Coco. So there are the shadows from this palette, and here's what the palette looks like. Get my hand out of the way. Oh, sorry, it comes with five shadows. I guess I can, I can count, I promise. Um... And yeah, I actually really liked this palette as as well. These these eyeshadows, they are very smooth. They're, they're very smooth, and they're they're kind of feel a little bit buttery. However, I will notice that if you get too much product, they're kind of like the same consistency as Urban Decay shadows. 
Um, if you get too much product, they kind of clump up and then you can get fallout when that clump breaks. But I'm just going to get up close and personal with my face right now. And you can check out my eyeshadow. Um, so trying to not like lose the light. So this is the eyeshadow. So what I did was I took um, tiramisu all over the lid and then I used a toffee, or, or not toffee, I used dusk um, on the outer corner and on the inner corner. And then as a transition shade, I actually used glow, which this isn't like my ideal eyeshadow palette because there are no mattes in here. They are all um, satin finishes, I would say. Uh, so for me to like kind of deepen my crease, I didn't really feel like I had a matte like good shadow make it look like my my eyes are a little bit more deep set shadow for that. But um, overall, I feel like these shadows have held up really nicely. Um, there is a little bit of fading, but nothing that you wouldn't get from like an Urban Decay eyeshadow or anything like that. They've worn really well and I think that Julep has done a really good job. Um, I'm not sure about the prices. I will make sure to put them somewhere up on the screen of how much each product costs. Like if they sell individual eyeshadows and everything, I will put that in the description box below. Um, but that is going to wrap up this kind of little chat about some of the Julep Cosmetics. I know they're really popular for their nail polishes, but they are trying to venture out into um, cosmetics. And so, you know, it's always good to know about new cosmetics that are coming out. So. Those are my thoughts. Those are the ex results that I experienced when I wore them today. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Or if you've tried some of Julep's um, cosmetics, particularly their mascara. Um, they came out with a new mascara and I really would like to try it because I tried a previous Julep mascara that I was not a fan of. Um, so I'm interested to try their new formulation. So if you've tried that, tell me in the comments below if you liked it because I'd be really interested to know. Um, but otherwise, I hope everyone stays sassy, classy, and beautiful, and I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.